everyone thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing this is rena hicks you are watching all access and i have an amazing 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 couple of videos for you the first one we're going to start with is just looking at blockchain if you remember a few weeks ago the president said you know that blockchain is something that the government wants to um, uh, kind of explore in terms of being able to uh, look at how can they use blockchain for an efficient, effective uh, service delivery to, to the people. And I have with me the CS of ICT, Mr. Joseph Mushero, who's going to help us understand what blockchain is and how is this going to unfold. So I am so, so excited and I will ask you to please share these videos um, and subscribe in case you haven't yet. So welcome to my show. Uh, Asante sana, thank you. Yes, yes. I am uh, so pleased um, for the opportunity to speak with you. So let's get straight into it. Okay. My first question is, you know, blockchain, blockchain has been discussed a lot. You know, we've had it discussed um, even in, by the government, uh, by companies looking to explore it. But a lot of people don't quite understand it. And I'd like you to use just simple English to explain to the Wananchi what is blockchain really and what benefits does blockchain have for us? Okay, um, it's technology, so I don't know how simple uh, one can get. But traditionally, you have uh, multiple databases that people have, say a database of uh, all the vehicles that we have in the country, we have a database of, say, land titles and so on. Yeah. What uh, these distributed ledgers and blockchain are about is that you now have this uh, database and it's copied in multiple places. And then in, on a real-time basis, it's updated so that it's the same everywhere. So you have, they call them nodes, you have yeah. different nodes. <coughs> and that means that uh, if somebody tries to hack one mm -hmm. or tries to change something in one, so long as the others know what the true state is, that will not be relevant. So you cannot cheat the system as much. Mm. So from a layman's perspective, you own a piece of property, you have your title deed in place. Even if someone now goes and tries to change that title deed from, uh, say, Rina to Moshero, mm. because Moshero has been able to hack, unless you take now over more than 50% of all the nodes that are there, mm. you cannot make that change. So it means that uh, the person will still remain the owner. Now with blockchain, it's really a ledger where you've got records of all the transactions and changes that are being done. Mm. So it creates uh, transparency, yeah. which means if you bought that land and uh, you got it from so-and-so, the record will be there and it's immutable. It cannot be deleted, yes. it cannot be changed. And, and it means then it creates a lot of transparency. Yeah. It creates something called trust in a trustless system. So mm. you don't have to now care whether this is true or not. You yeah. can check in the system whether that title is correct and you know it is correct. The policeman will check whether that uh, driver's license is true yeah. or it is not. And, and once they s the system says it is true, you know it is true. Mm. It's not uh, something that will change. I don't know if that's uh, simple enough. I've tried to no, it is. water it down, but it then means, you know, you have more stability, you have more efficiency and you can scale. You imagine like the voters register, you know the, the truth, so that we no longer have to keep fighting about is this the real register, is it this, it's the things that you can do, the title deeds, IDs, you name it. So are we looking to implement blockchain throughout the different service uh, services, you know, whether we're talking about national registration of people or persons, whether we're talking about the land ministry uh, and, and, and all of that. Is there, are we going to pilot it first or are we looking to implement it in all the different areas that we can? We've already been piloting. Actually, uh, we've tested it in lands and in a few other databases that I wouldn't mention at the moment. Okay. And it has worked well for us. In fact, uh, we believe that even private sector businesses should actually go into Absolutely. this space. You know, it, it's, it's transformational. Mm -hmm. It's the same way the internet came and changed how we do things. You remember people would be asking uh, this whole concept of sending letters, snail mail. So how do you send electronic letters? And it was a whole transformation on how both the internet or even the mobile came. And we, we must not be left behind now in this wave of distributed ledgers mm -hmm. and uh, blockchain. 
and other things like hash graph. There are many different uh, variants coming out, but we must be there, we must be in the lead. We are some very intelligent people in our country yeah. that can really contribute uh, into the development of this new space. Mm. So we can't only be consumers, we also have to be developers and, and engage the world as well. Absolutely. I'm going to pause there for this particular video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I think this is important to understand. Somebody said to me that blockchain is going to do to us and to industries what the internet did to post offices. So it's going to transform the way that we carry out business and the way that we have um, life as we know it. And so it's important to pay attention. And those of you who are in IT, this is something you need to improve your skills in as we proceed. This is Rena Hicks. Please subscribe if you haven't and share these videos to others so that it, you know, they can learn something. Keep watching. And this is Moneywise. God bless.